It's episode four, and we're building a mansion. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Hello, and welcome to episode four here in Adventures in Minecrafting. I am so excited today because today, this big lot that you see behind me is going to become our base. That's right, we're going to begin working on the base today. It is going to be mega, and it is going to fill this entire place. In fact, it's actually going to go a little off in that direction, and it's going to go off in that direction, and... Oh, hey, by the way, notice anything new? Yeah, yeah, do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm wearing diamond armor. Oh, yeah, we got the tools. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See it? See it? See it? See the tools? Yeah. Okay, so we're good. We are ready to go. Now, before we start building... Well, that's an odd shot. There we go. Before we start building, I want to show you a couple things I've done in the meantime. You know, if we're going to build... Hey, get back your sword. If we're going to build, we're going to need some stuff. We're going to need blocks. We're going to... Be quiet, guys. We're going to need blocks, we're going to need all sorts of things to build with. We're going to need wood to build with, and so I'll show you in a second there how I was chopping down a lot of trees. Uh, we're going to need blocks, and so what I did is I, I got some blocks. Let's see if we can get in here and safely. So I dug out this entire area. This is a standard mob farm. What happens is mobs will always move toward the lower ground and by doing that they will step into the water and they will fall down this pit right here just like that spider actually this mob farm isn't very good at spiders but that's okay because when I was mining out down below in the mine shaft I found two spider spawners and my hope is they're right next to each other so they fall down there and let me show you where they go Stupid spider thinks he can make me look bad. Look like I built a stupid mob for him. I'll show him. I'm going to send all his brothers and sister spiders to spider heaven. <clears throat> so we've made a way to get down here to the mine shaft quicker. And if you look right here in this chest, that's right. It's only been running for 15 20 minutes and we've already got tons of bones and gunpowder and arrows. Now we don't necessarily need arrows because one of our villagers is selling infinity that we can put right on a bow. We've got rotten flesh. We can trade that with clerics for emeralds and we've got string. Now, as I said, this is not the best string farm there is, but that's okay because we found a string farm. So if you look right over here, we have, stop that, we have a spider spawner. Look at that. Ah, good job, buddy. And there is a second one, but I can't remember exactly where that is. But I'm hoping to find it, and I'm hoping that they will be right next to each other, and we can make a double spider spawner farm, and we will have all the string and we will have all the spider eyes that we need. Now, let's head back up because there's one more thing we need to look at. Say hello to my little friends. That's right, we've got three more villagers and they're all doing quite well. Look at them, aren't they cute doing their work? Uh, they've taken their medicine quite well, just like these guys, and now they are offering us even more goodies. This guy right here, he has a mending book for one emerald. Uh, we're not going to use that knockback, but th that's okay. We've got the mending and that's all we need him for. Over here, we've got this guy that I picked for the silk touch. So when we mined out that mob farm, I was able to get all the stone and I didn't need to uh, smelt it to bring it into being stone again. I didn't get cobblestone, I got stone because of that silk touch. And so you see, that's that's such an important part. That's an early game, big, big helper. And then finally, we've got this guy. 
and I got him so we could trade some of those potatoes and carrots already grown out in the village, get ourselves some emeralds, but also get ourselves some apples. These are a little hard to get. I, you've seen I, I have been mining a lot. I've been cutting down a lot of apple trees and you only get like one or two for every 20 or so apple trees that you cut down, oak trees that you cut, cut down. So this will be nice. He's also got a melon trade. So later on when we build a melon farm, that's going to help us out a great deal. But now we've got these guys. We've got these guys added to these guys. Once we get that mansion upstairs built, we'll be able to move them up there and we'll be doing just fine now let's head back up and take a look at the mansion now through the magic of video editing and the fact that the replay mod didn't really want to save my file i give you our mansion and here it is what do you think now it really isn't a, a proper mansion it's it's really just a a shell, a little bit of a facade. I, I started to build the back here. In fact, let's go upstairs and I can show you what we're working on. This was inspired by a number of pictures and really I encourage you, if you're looking for inspiration, if you're trying to figure out how to build something in Minecraft, Google image search. Look for images of buildings you'd like to build and then build them. Uh, the key is to have some depth uh, you'll notice these walls are one, two, three thick. Uh, that allows for a good deal of depth. It gives the building character. Uh, you see up here on the ceiling, we've got some beams going on. And then we haven't built this out at all. We have not built the inside. I've just started laying down a floor. Haven't figured out yet where I'm going to put the storage, probably either in the center here or along the sides, because we're definitely going to have wings going out uh, from the sides of the buildings. If you look back and some, I'll put some images up on the screen of some of the buildings that inspired me to build this base. I've never built a base like this before. I've built castles and I've built modern houses, but I really wanted to build one of these 1300 era estates, uh, almost inspired uh, one of the things you'd see maybe in a Jane Austen uh, movie. Uh, based on the novel. In fact, this this one right here, uh, I used Lime, uh, Lime Park, which was the setting of the 1995 Pride and Prejudice film. That sort of formed the basis for the structure, but as you can see, it's a much more colorful build. Uh, it's much more uh, run down. These stairs in the original actually went up just right here, and I thought they looked nicer to come down in a curving arc. Here to the front. Now, what are we going to put on these floors? I'm thinking that maybe in here is going to go our villager trading hall, and then we'll do the storage up up top. Or I may I may move that around. I may put the villagers in a wing over here. We might put stables down here. We might put farms down here. But this gives you an update on how far we've come. And let me go keep building, and I will bring you right back in. complete with our little Sean the Shepherd logo right up there. Uh, we've got a roof on it, at least partial roof. This is still just a facade. We still need to build back and complete the building, but this is a lot. We've added the additional staircase over here. We've added some windows in as well as we've begun the side sections over here that will go out and extend off in that direction and off in that direction. Uh, we still need to do a little terraforming here of the hill. That's not a big deal. In fact, I was going to make that a little cliff-like. 
but I will take care of that later. We've got a stairway right up here and our whole front is done. Let's head up and I want to, sh I want to show you something before we head up there. Let me show you one thing. Remember how we've been working out of a little base camp right here? Well, now where did it all go? Well, let me show you where it went. It went right. Oh, can't go that way. Gonna go right up here and into our main level. And here you go. I've moved all of our storage up here. I've begun to organize it. We've got a little uh, workspace right here. Eventually this room will be filled with walls. It'll have a high ceiling. You see here the back of the ceiling. This will be flat up here, but the ceiling itself will extend all the way around. Uh, here on the back, I'm planning for some just big windows that look out over the landscape. We'll have hallways right here, right here, and the same on the other side, right there and right there. And my plan is uh, to do most of our storage over here and perhaps along the back. Uh, we've got all of our dirt, all of our stone, our andesite, granite, diorite. We've got all of our wood things will go right here. Uh, beginning to collect miscellaneous vegetation, uh, redstone, nether, nether items. All of these things are right here. And then over here, we're going to feed all of our farms up into these chests. And we'll build that at some point here. Uh, but for now, that is, that is the building. That's what we've done. We've got a good start to this mansion. Still need to finish the roof up there. I'll do probably do most of the roof work off, of, off camera, but this will give you an idea of what we're working with. And we can come out here and enjoy our domain. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of these adventures in Minecraft. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you'd like to see me build particular things or you'd like to see other buildings like this, please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. For this episode, I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecraft. <laughs>